Hey, how's it going everyone? So today we're taking a look at how much my dividend portfolio paid me out this last month. But before we do that, let's take a quick look and see how the portfolio has performed over this little while here. So you can see uh, current value on this portfolio is at $80,951. Uh, just the last day we were up a nice green amount, but if we actually go to the week here, we're currently down about $2,200. I'll kind of go down here and you'll see some of the stocks we have in the portfolio. If we go over the last month, we're still doing pretty solid. We're actually up $5,770. Uh, you can see we only put in about $1,200 over the last month. We've slowed down when the market has been going up, but we definitely have been buying in just a little bit more over the last week since the market has dropped a little bit. You can see here in the last quarter, uh, we're actually up almost $8,000, which is 11.35% uh, for money weighted returns. You can see we've earned almost $255.83 in earned dividends. Not all of it's paid out yet, and I'll actually go into a spreadsheet to show you how much we earned in total this month, and then how much we have for the year, uh, which is really, really exciting. And then if we go to our year marker here, we're at $5,100, so we're down about 7%. Uh, well, 7.36%. And then our all time, we're actually in the positive still at $4,800 at 20% uh, return with unrealized gains is almost $2,000. So it's 2.4 or yeah, 2.42%. Uh, so we're still doing green, which is really great. I really like that. This is my M1 Finance. Obviously, you can see here, this is the platform we're using. Always have a link in the show notes if you want to check it out. Check them out. Um, I love using them for long term dividend investing. Uh, the support of the channel if you guys want to use the link. Um, so if we go in here, we are, let's go to our month, uh, because obviously our month, we're still in the positive here. So you can see some of our different sectors we have. We have growth, retail, uh, those were up pretty well. Uh, we have our tech that was up really nicely. Uh, finance was a little slower than everybody else. You can see here, uh, industries and energy was up about 10%, and then real estate was about 7.4%. Uh, so we were looking pretty solid across the board here. Obviously, with industries and energy being the highest return over the last just month, you can see it's Texas Instrument and Lockheed Martin. Now, I've actually sold out a little bit of Lockheed Martin and then bought back in and sold one of my other companies as well, too. So uh, nice to see these are actually up right now, um, especially since we just recently bought back into them. And then same thing with the tech right here. Uh, you know, you got uh, Microsoft and you got Apple as well. So both of them are doing really, really nicely. And then just quickly looking to our growth portfolio here, we got Google, Amazon, Meta, and then also Tesla, which uh, depending on when you're watching this, obviously uh, Tesla did do their three for one uh, stock split. So you can see here our shares are 15.68 uh, shares, which is really nice. The average share price actually should be way lower. Uh, that hasn't split yet or gone through that split just just yet. So let me know in the comments down below if you own some Tesla and how much you have now as far as shares after the split has gone through. Obviously, it's not a ton of shares, but you know, nonetheless, just buying in when you can because uh, M1 Finance here lets us do fractional shares. Now let's go ahead and take, we're gonna take a look at and see how much we earned in dividends. But quickly before I do that, I uh, just wanna give a quick shout out. If somebody wants to get some free stocks, Webull is currently giving out 12 free stocks. Well, it says up to 12. So some of it is just opening the account and then the rest of it is uh, depending on how much you do a deposit with. So make sure you actually check out the link down below. Even if you don't care for utilizing Webull, uh, you can open up the account, get those free stocks, you know, sell them if you want to or keep them in that account and see if you like the portfolio and how the brokerage actually runs. So again, that'll be in the show notes down below for Webull. You guys can get up to 12 free stocks. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our activities feed here. And I'm going to actually just break this down by dividends only. So we're going to be taking a look at everything we earned in the month of August since we got paid out our last dividend for the month. Now, the first company we got paid out with was Apple. So you can see here, this was on August 11th. We got paid out for $11.90. Next up, we got Costco the very next day. We got a total of $7.08 for this one. And then you can see right over here on the 15th, we got paid out from Ally. We got paid out $15.15. .15. And then on the 16th of the month from Texas Instrument, we got paid out $18.97. Now, like I mentioned, I put it together here on a spreadsheet. Let me go ahead and zoom in here for us. So that way you can see it a little bit clearer too. So you can see here for the month of August, oh cool, my pen's still there. So for the month of August, we have $53.10 for us right there which is honestly quite a bit. Um, if you actually look at how much we made in the quarter uh, comparable last quarter or the month comparable last quarter. I can't talk. Apparently you can see here it's $46.33. So those are the months that we can compare because that's usually when those same companies are paying out. Um, I already broke that down. Let me see if I can 
zoom down here. So I did that breakdown here. Percentage wise, that's actually 14.61% increase from the month prior, which is really nice. I thought that was a really good increase um, from comparables from month over quarter over quarter for the same months, which is really nice. Uh, and then you can see here when we actually added up all together, Obviously, for the first two uh, months in this quarter, it's always a little bit lower than the final month, but we're so far for a Q3 up to $88.19. You can also let me know in the comments down below too where you are at so far for first two months of Q3. Definitely like to hear from you. And then check this out right here. So our total for 2022 thus far is $528.38. Check out how much we made just last year with the same portfolio. Obviously, we're building up bigger positions. We have more money in there and, you know, dividend increases. Last year, we made $514 and we already surpassed that. So we are already making more with one full quarter to go and one full month to go, which is actually usually the best month when it comes to dividend income. Our monthly average right now, we're making $66.05 every single month. Our goal is obviously to hit 100, and then after that, going up higher and higher in total. Uh, you can see here right now, actual payout for dividends has been $1,235.24. Now, also too, don't forget to get your free stocks in the show notes down below. With Webull, you get up to that 12 free stocks if you go ahead and sign up with them using my link in the show notes down below. Now, I want you to click on this next video right here if you want to keep on checking out my investing journey and seeing how everything is going and following along. My name is Dennis, and I'll see you in that next video.